This is just the guts of a Ryobi P125, uh, what they call supercharger. It's basically a six position battery charger that just charges one battery at a time. This is the contact set for one of the uh, battery positions. See, one of these has a um, assembly where it has a switch built into the contact. So the contact just closes when the battery is inserted into that particular position. Uh, not a whole lot on this side of the board, just random passives. There is a uh, Dell 8 LM358 down there along with a transistor. Um, rather interesting that they used a uh, Dell for that. Don't know exactly why. One of the other semiconductors on the other side of the board. It's not the power stuff or surface mount. There's a um, SB540 diode. Don't know whether or not it's a conventional ultra fast shot key, whatever. I hazard to guess it's shot key, but uh, don't hold me to it. 33 ohm power resistor there. 470 microfarad, 50 volt lytic, along with a FET. Um, I think that's probably a master shutoff FET to, to the uh, main DC bus. It's a BYS29E. So I guess it's a FET, judging by the part number. Um, also, one interesting thing on the silk screen, kind of hard to see with that particular chip, but if you zoom in there, you can see that it lists what the IC is on the silk screen, and it also does that with the FET, or with the uh, feedback up there right there. It's a uh, CNY17-3, and the TOP266, which is the main switching IC right there. Kind of looks a bit on the thin side, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it's just a fairly standard single chip um, integrated switcher. It's a combination control and power device for the uh, switching power supply single in drive. Not surprising given what the, given the price class of this thing. Decent amount of input filtering, uh, mains fuse right there. Obviously this thing is not plugged in by the risk of electrocution. And yes, I have checked the potentials on the caps because this thing's been sitting unplugged for some hours. And a one cap was about 70 odd millivolts, and the other one was about 400 odd millivolts, so not a risk of electrocution unless you're really stupid or really inventive, one of the two. Probably a combination of both. And that's just the connector for the little daughter board on the inside of the case. It just has the um, uh, switch and four blue LEDs. Just uh, bog standard T1 super bright LEDs, like all the other indicators in this thing. And on the other side of the board, there's an uh, Atmel Atmega 168, which um, um, PV. That's just the uh, main microcontroller for controlling, you know, basically all the battery charging stuff. Um, there's a uh, seven power devices. That one's an, a 78M05, obviously five volt regulator for the microcontroller and various other control logic. And then there's half a dozen AOD 413 FETs. One is the one being the uh, power on-off connection for each uh, battery or on-off switch for each battery charging position, along with various other ancillary passives and transistors, probably just you know discrete FET drivers, and uh, and on the other other side of the filters, little um, Domicon teeth, which are just a um, basically a little protective spark gap to avoid destroying the filters in any kind of really high EMI environment. And uh, a reasonable amount of clearance on the other, and uh, creepage on the other side of the PCB. Isolation slots, isolation holes, fairly reasonable. There's also that slot which I think might double as, there's probably a combination of creepage and, although not necessarily creepage so much as air circulation through the PCB for the two power resistors on the other side of the board. And, uh, not a whole lot else. You know, it's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. I've been seeing these things for years, but I got this one on sale. And there's just a little uh, ICSP or JTAG, although probably in this application it's just, if it is JTAG, it's just being used for uh, programming the device there. Don't see a whole lot of analog, so I'm guessing they're probably using uh, ADCs in that chip for charge monitoring. I'm also doing something with the LM358 there, that's just what that is. That's the um, other side of the board where that is. 
and uh, judging by the parts, I'd say probably, I don't know, I'd have to trace out the schematic, but it's probably either a um, combination of some kind of an amplifier, um, with maybe some filtering. So yeah, quite simple. And like a lot of these that I've looked at, that uh, additional pin marked T is unused, because I've seen that in other Ryobi chargers that I've dismantled. And um, only that one, which is marked T, marked T2, was used. So I'm guessing that's pro uh, that's only on the lithium batteries. So that might be either some comms with the um, BMS chip in the uh, battery, or an auxiliary temperature sensor. Although, because comms things are usually marked D on these, I'm guessing it's probably um, auxiliary temperature sensor. Maybe just a logic level thing from the internal monitoring circuitry in the battery. So yeah, it's a thing.